peace and welcome to Nagana Akhna. It's time for evolution. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, uh, clean up and correct your traditional artwork within Photoshop using the Photoshop curve tools. And so yeah, stay tuned. It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ghana Art Family. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys a way on how to refine your colors within your traditional art. And so I'm going to be using a, uh, a uh, illustration I made for my comic, Oscar. And, uh, and within this illustration, I'm going to be adjusting the, uh, the, the, uh, the color or refining the colors. You know, and so usually when people want to refine colors, they use the, the brightness and contrast. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you a more, much more advanced way to control the brightness and contrast. And so when you come when you come to images and then adjustments, then you would see a brightness and contrast. And then usually people would, uh, you know, uh, change or adjust the brightness and then adjust the contrast. And, and it's good for a very I guess if you're looking for a, a quick fix and you don't want to like really like edit edit much of it however I'm going to show you guys a much more uh, much more detailed way to help to refine your image and and also have more more control over your image or, or as to which midtones you want to alter all right and so I'm going to cancel that right now uh, we what I did was use a uh, uh, I did so I did a, a brightness and contrast effect Right now we're gonna be using an adjustment layer and adjustment layers are great because they're non-destructive. You know, I had to undo that, you know, to get the original image. However, if I click the adjustment layer, which looks like a yin yang symbol, okay, it's a circle and it has dark and light inside of it. You click the adjustment layer and it also has brightness and contrast, right? And so you can play around with brightness and contrast. However, what we're gonna do is a much more much more uh, advanced way of controlling the brightness of contrast. So we're gonna go to from levels to curves. Okay. So curves is a much more is more advanced in level. So we're gonna go into curves. Okay. It's more detailed. And so with curves, you know we're we're presented with uh, this line here, and uh, right here this is where the dark the dark meets, and this is where the uh, the light meets. If you ever want to think of uh, you know the x and y axis in algebra if you remember that this would be the y axis the output and this would be the x axis the the input right and so you know to make matters short if you want to like help to balance this this image if you ever want to balance this image more uh just make an s curve to help to balance this image and this will control the the, the this will have you ha have you have much more control over your brightness and contrast. So right now I'm making two markers, right? Right. So I, I and I made these markers just by clicking. So I'm just going to move this marker up. Right. So this this controls the lighting. Right. And I'm going to move this marker down. This will control the bar the, the, the darkness. Right. And if I want to like, uh, you know, you know control the darkness even more i can make this a little bit more darker by bringing it more bringing it a little bit more down this gives me a lot more control compared to like the brightness and contrast so right now we're gonna like do have this in a little balance sense and if i, if I, if I ever want to like uh, control the light here i could like make this a lot more lighter if i wanted to i could just like you know just adjust it a little bit you know and so what we have here is uh now, if I were to turn off the, uh, the, the, so this is the, uh, the before, right? And now this is the after, and you can see that it has a, a much more, the, the colors are more refined, refined, and they, and they pop out. And because it's an adjustment layer, the fact that it's an adjustment layer, I can adjust, I can adjust it again. You know, it's non-destructive to the, to the previous layer. And so... I could I could go into it again by hitting the the curves icon right here and then I could play around with it and adjust it again. And so if you wanted if you ever wanted to get even more specific and select a particular midtone within this color range which matches the uh, some of the midtones within this area, 
you just want to select the uh, this finger tool and uh, as I'm selecting this finger tool you're going to see like uh, you're gonna see the circle pop out which is scouting out all of the uh, the midtones that I'm like searching over you know so if I were to like go to this white midtone right here you can see that this circle is going like all the way near to, to the tip or the, or the top of that curve you know if you ever want to like play around with that you know and then you can like come come out here you can select the RGB uh, R's or RGB is it, it all stands for red green and, and blue you can edit these channels individually RGB is just a combination of red green and blue but if you ever wanted to like go into detail specifically for the for the uh, color red you know you can select some a layer here so I'm just going to use red for example you can use green or blue and uh, I can like kind of edit that up a little bit you know control that the lighting of the red a little bit you know you know do all sorts of stuff or maybe I can like uh, have a little yin yang symbol going on again or that that line of balance thing you know if I ever wanted to do something like that to like uh, bring out my my reds more you know but uh, right now we're going to you know leave it the way it is and I'm going to show you something else so let's say let's say you wanted to target one specific tone of color right so I can come here into uh, hue and the, the hue and saturation adjustment layer right and uh, I can again select this finger so I'm going to select this finger and I'm going to select a particular color for me to uh, edit so I'm going to select one of my characters uh, heads here and uh, as I select one of my characters heads you'll you'll see that I can only I can only adjust like uh, his head so you you can see how he's turning like uh, his his face is starting to have a, a, a red a reddish tint and none of the images are being affected you know only the colors that are that are similar to this to this original black that, that this character had will change but I'm not seeing that anywhere else so this color is unique to that character so it's only going to change this so I can like change up the color I can make it a little bit more green if I wanted to and it will only affect that particular uh, location right so I'm going to make this character green you know and this you know as I pick the uh, as I use my color selection this this up uh, finger tool you know it, it, it automatically selects blue because I guess it didn't read it as black but it, it originally read it as a blue you know and so I'm going to give you guys another example of the hue and uh, the hue and saturation adjustment layer so we're gonna change the color of the leaves now this is a stock image of a tree I found on uh, somewhere on Google and so what we're gonna do is again click the adjustment layer icon Right, and then we're gonna go to hue and saturation, and then now we're going to go to this finger, this finger icon, right? So math, what master is like a, so master is like a, uh, it has master controls all the colors, okay, okay, and if you ever want to go into individual colors, you can go into red, yellows, greens, and cyans, blues, and magentas, which is all the colors that can create a colorful image, okay? So if you ever want to get specific. You know but master controls it all so okay I'm going to pick this finger icon and I, I'm going to select a, a bright a bright green okay and it's going what it's going to do is like is what it what it is going to do is like uh, change up the uh, the colors of that bright green you know uh, but apparently it's not bright green because I selected a kind of a, a yellowish brightest tint so I'm going to adjust that right so I'm going to like make that a little bit uh, reddish right and so you can see how it's starting to like affect it because i'm going cl very closer to, to the reds right so i'm controlling the hue down right and so you can see how like that aspect of the tree is getting affected the the yellows the bright yellows you know so now i'm going to go into my uh my reds and then i'm going to uh you know just play around with it and I'll see see what's see what's working 
So if reds are on effect, I'm going to go into my greens, right? And uh, it, it seems like the greens are, are are the greens is working. So since you know the the tree leaves are greens, I'm going to uh, you know adjust that a little bit. And and you can see how it's, it's starting to change the the color of the leaves. You know they're no longer green because I'm I'm affecting the green the green layer. You know I'm getting specific and I'm affecting I'm affecting that. So, or I, I didn't even have to like come here and select the greens. I could have just used this and then scout out the greens, and it'll like me. It'll, it'll likely uh, get me to the greens. You know, you know, it, you know. You can do you can do a lot. You can do a lot with photo manipulation, and it also uh, manipulated some hints there of green within this tree. Uh, there's not that much, so that's why you don't see a huge change in in this uh, tree trunk. However, they're, they're like little hints of greens that you may not have noticed, but it's it's good. So this is a good way for you to manipulate your, your photos or your images and to, to brighten up your colors and to your fine, refine your colors. And so, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and check out other videos on creative self-help. I, I do. So, yeah, peace.